been a long night in Diamond City. Then again, as you guys know, it's always a long night in Diamond City. Wandering around here. Good neighbor. Everyone's yeah. got a story to tell. Everyone's got a grievance against somebody. A lot of these people are ghouls. A lot of these people are droids, but I don't judge. You're blocking don't ask, my light, man. don't tell. <laughs> this is uh, Guns, Guns, Guns. You don't have to ask twice how they thought of the name. But, uh, gives us a nice opportunity to prove our little gun here. I used to have a gun called Bessie. Yeah, uh, Bessie was, uh, well, Bessie was an old revolver. This one, I think we'll rename it. I think we'll call it Rosebud. It was an old mover. Must be, well... I want to say it's a few years old, but damn, it's probably 300 years old because of war. About this man who uh, just wanted to be reminded of his family, uh, of his child. Um, before I head out back again, uh, I also came to Daisy's Discount. She's a ghoul as well, but she's good. She's a good person. And uh, got myself some stim packs, some water. As you can see, I have a Checked out my armor a little bit, got some higher level there. Uh, leather stuff. Hopefully, it should keep me alive a little bit. I didn't want to hide the tie or the suit too much because I like people to know I'm a detective. Not that it helps. People here in Boston will take a pot shot at you, whether you're law enforcement, raider, smuggler, hell, even God himself could walk down here and take him shots in the face before anyone else turns sideways looking at him. That's what life's like in Diamond City. This gun, well, I guess this is now Rosebud. I, uh. Rosebud in the film that I was talking about, it was a, uh. symbol of his childhood, of hope. It's a. It's like a chem. It's like chems over there. It was a symbol of oh, 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 whoa. That was close. That was close. Ah. All right. Oh. No, 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 motherfucker. Rude words. I apologize for all children present. Really, really, I knew it. There were two minds. Two minds. Two minds. Excellent. Someone remind me there's death there. I need to edit out. Ugh. I don't. This is perma death. Don't worry. This is, I am. If I die, I die. I'm just not going to die to a freaking mine. Um. Yeah. Well, there's a dog. This gun. Or any gun. They represent hope. And they represent freedom. Not the freedom of the people, don't you worry. I'm not a. I'm not a. Not a red. But it represents the freedom of me. Guarantees that if I walk into a situation that things start to get a little bit hard and heavy, Rosebud here will be a way out of it. It's time for us to go and find. Uh, see if, well, see if we can find. Uh, Valentine. Should hopefully be over here. We've got enough stim parks now to try and deactivate him. I guess it's one of the uh, perks. Ow! What the? I just got shot as I jumped down. What the hell is going on? It's Valentine! Valentine's under attack! I'm surprised he's even standing again. There we go. Oh, maybe Valentine's not standing again. Maybe that's the freaking problem. But maybe good old Rosebud here can be a symbol of hope for us right here, right now. Ow! Or I can just get shot in the ass by a... Damn Raider gun. The nice thing about Raider guns, if there ever can be nice things about Raider guns, is that they tend to be in terrible condition. Which... 
can sometimes mean you can take a, a shot from and carry on going. Careful, Valentine, careful. Because it also begs the question, if you could get up by yourself, then why the frick were you still down? Are we all right? Valentine, Valentine. Wait, dude. Time to hit the road. Hell yeah. Oh, shoot. What the? What the hell? What the hell am I holding? All right, Valentine, come on, let's go. Time to hit the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Well, let's right. head out. We've got this gilded grasshopper to recover. I'm glad to see you're still functioning, though. Thought you might have been a goner when I saw that 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 nuke gone off. Here we are, back at the hall. Now, when I was over there with broken leg and all, there are some super mutant sounds coming from the left hand alley. Well, I wouldn't be surprised at all if there's still something up there. In fact, that might even be something now. Let's get down and stay down. Think about being a private detective. Is the morality is not really uh... ah, Daniel Hall. Cradle yeah. of liberty oh. turned slaughter. What's that? Like a walking target out here. Well, tell me about it. That's why we're gonna head in. Let's get away from him. Oh, what the hell did this guy come from? Oh, and again, and again, and again. Come on, Rosebud, reload. Hold on, hold on, we tagged him. What? Who's there? Still sounds like a mutie around there as well. Valentine. You're so dead. Oh hell, it just ran right past me. They didn't even see me. Got him. Any more running down the alley? Banatine, now's not the time. Let's get into the hall. Yeah, there's some mutants here on the outside, but there's more in the middle. Alright, get down. Get down. Hopefully the robots down here are still active too. Metal light armor. Is that better than what I'm currently having? Nine and seventeen. Nine and three. Hmm. Really? Annoyed. Valentine, stay quiet. Definitely more mutants up here above us. Good riddance. Shh. Anyway. Oh. No green stuff here. Robots seem to have deactivated. Didn't the mutants did that? Surely they wouldn't have the knowledge and the what the no power to do that. It's talking about being a. Moral detective. My answer would be there's no such thing. You do the job that you've been paid to do. You don't mor moralize it. Mor mor moralize it. Ultimately, it comes down to the person that's paying it. They want you to find an affair, you find an affair. If they want you to bring someone home, bring someone home. Attention. Maybe these things shut themselves down after us. Period of time. Robot is a felony. Tell you though, Valentine is possibly the one exception to that rule I've ever met. Jay he cares. He generally cares. I've seen him take a job for no pay. I've seen him take a job for for half pay. I've seen him generally become affectionate for the people that he's working for, or even sometimes spying on. 
some ways I envy him. In some ways I pity him. Can't get emotionally attached to the cases that you're working on. Just can't. You just can't. As soon as you become attached to the people that you're searching for or looking for, you're as good as dead. So you gotta look after yourself first. I'm not saying a detective is a self-serving occupation. It's not. That's not what I'm saying. We're not raiders. We're not scavengers. No, 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 no. But we are in it to make a living. This isn't a charity. This is business. Oh, hell. What is it? Who's there? What's that? Care. Careful, Valentine. It's like we just might have woken the. No fight today. I'm here, stuff. A bomb could go off in this place and no one would be the wiser. <laughs> right. It's a mess. But hell. Mutants aren't known for their. Kind and loving personalities. Now, the message we got from your old partner said there's things on the roof. You need to try and get up, but the staircase is broken or non existent. I'm not going to even tell what the original plans were. Your pip boy doesn't sound pleased. Let's say we get no, out of here. I agree. He's picked up a load of rats from that corner. Not sure of what, though. Jesus, it's strong, though. Really strong. Holy crap! It's burning me up! That was a huge dose. Phil. I mean, you're not supposed to be able to feel radiation. I mean, you can't. You can't hear it or see it, but... Someone I feel there. really weird. Oh, crap. Valentine's oh, gone in. Hell. Just been a... Just being irradiated to hell. Ah! Go, 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 go. I need to get back up and protect Valentine. And that was it. Barton Sloan panicked. Tried to save his partner, but he jumped into an elevator. Didn't know where the elevator went, pressed the button, door open, mutant in front of him. Tommy Gunn took his head clean off. He slumped back to the back of the lift. Rogue's bird by his side. Never again to solve a case. Never again to earn a dime. Investigating Boston. But as for Valentine, well, who knows? He survived the mutants. He solved the case, and yeah, he went on to have a good more adventures and partners around Boston and in Diamond City. But the night he lost his partner, Barton Sloan, hit him hard. Made him think. Brought him as close to weeping as an android a synth ever gets. Sure as hell. A long night for Valentine, Diamond City. But maybe, just maybe he shouldn't have been surprised. After all, it's always a long night in Diamond City.